Hello everyone, with a treasure of useful tips, I, Vistar Sharma, welcome you to our Siku. We are discussing exams with multiple choice questions and today's topic is, know the types of questions. Once we have some knowledge about different kinds of exams as well as our own strengths and weaknesses, it's time now to understand basic question types. Although there can be many types of questions, and we will discuss about them in detail later. Here we will just quickly go through some basic types. The types of basic multiple choice questions that we will look at are standard questions, questions dependent on provided statements, reading comprehension, data interpretation, and logical reasoning. Let's start with the first type of questions that is the standard questions. These are standalone independent questions generally unrelated to each other. They are not dependent on any other additional information, so there won't be any supplementary information, passage, case, etc. They are in many cases fact-based questions or calculation-based questions that require prior knowledge to solve. A good tip is that generally it doesn't matter in which order we attempt these questions in an exam, so we can use this fact to our advantage. Let's take an example. How many sides does a rectangle have? Now the options are 3, 4, 5 and 6. And we very easily can answer this that the right answer is B, that is 4 sides. Let's take another example. Which of these people has been a Prime Minister of India? Our options are Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Mr. Kumar Mangalam Birla, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee and Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Here we see that the second question is completely unrelated to the first question. It does not matter whether we attempt the first question or the second question in the beginning. The answer to the question is Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Let's move to the next type of questions that is questions dependent on provided statements. Now these questions have some additional information in the form of statements provided along with the questions. The questions and the options mean nothing without these statements. They could be both standalone questions as well as a set of questions. There are many types of such questions. They will be discussed later on in detail, but we will see a few basic types here. For these questions, it's really important to read the instructions very carefully. We cannot assume anything. Let's take a few examples. A first example is, which of these statements are true? Then there are two statements given. Statement 1 says, the Sahara Desert is in Africa. And the statement 2 says, the Thar Desert is in Japan. And our options are, only statement 1 is true, only statement 2 is true, both these statements are true, none of these statements is true. Now we clearly know that statement 1 is true, that is Sahara Desert is certainly in Africa. But statement 2 that the Thar Desert is in Japan is untrue because the Thar Desert is in Rajasthan, India. So we will choose option A that only statement 1 is true. Let's take another example of statement dependent questions. Here the question says arrange the statements in a logical sequence. So we have got three statements, statement P, statement Q and statement R and we have to arrange them in a logical sequence. So let's read the statements first. Because of this price hike, the bus operators have gone on a strike. The common man will suffer due to the strike. Fuel prices were increased by 5% yesterday. Now it's very clear that the second statement that is statement Q says the common man will suffer due to the strike. So we have already discussed about a strike and that has been discussed in the statement P which says because of this price hike, the bus operators have gone on a strike. So Q will certainly follow P. But when they say because of this price hike, so we have to find out which price hike, which is given in statement R, that is fuel prices were increased by 5% yesterday. So statement R will come first. So now let's see which option says RPQ, it's option B. Let's move on to another type of such questions. Read the statements carefully. Statement P says, 
the city has witnessed heavy rainfall continuously for two days. In statement Q says, vast areas have submerged under flood waters. Now, the statements have been given and the options are, statement P is a cause and statement Q is its effect. Second option is, statement Q is a cause and statement P is its effect. The third option is, both statements P and Q are completely unrelated and D is none of the above. So, here we see that one statement says that there has been heavy rainfall continuously for two days and the second statement talks about flood waters and the areas of the city being submerged under the water. So, we cannot say that these are not related to each other. So, option C is out of question. Now, because of the rainfall, there will be flood. So, P is a cause and Q is an effect. So, rainfall is the cause of the flood. So, we can clearly see option A which says statement P is a cause and statement Q is its effect is the correct one. So, we learned today some of the basic types of multiple choice questions. We also learned that it's okay to change the sequence or order if they are standalone or unrelated questions. One must read the instructions and the statements very carefully in a statement dependent question. We will understand the remaining types of questions in the next video. This video is a part of a whole series of videos. Do watch all of them for maximum benefit. For more such useful tips and secrets to success, watch, like, share and subscribe to Aosiko. Thank you.